Hey, what's going on everybody? Well, welcome back to the channel. If you happen to be new today during this video, thank you so much for checking it out and hopefully you decide to subscribe before you go. And if you're returning, I appreciate the support and you guys coming back to check this video out today. Now, what we're gonna be focused on today is a DIY sump filtration system for my 300 gallon freshwater aquarium we're gonna be putting together. I've already done a video like this. However, that particular system, which you can see right now on the screen, it, it works and it does a great job of filtering the water. My problem is, is that that trash can, as you can see right here, is a very tight fit right up underneath this cabinet and trying to manipulate that trash can out to be able to maintain it is extremely difficult. So what I've done is went out and found a very large tote container that will hold enough water and media to be able to filter this particular tank. And that's what we're gonna be building it out of today. So let's talk about the materials we're gonna be using today. The first thing we're gonna need is a nice big tub. This particular tub will hold 60 gallons of water, which is perfect for this tank. So with it holding 60 gallons of water, it will be able to hold enough media and water to be able to keep this tank nice and filtered. So the next thing that we're going to need, I'm actually gonna be using some of these flower baskets. These are aquatic flower baskets that you can pick up at Home Depot, Lowe's, any type of hardware store. We're gonna be using a few of these. I have a couple of small or seven gallon totes. We're gonna need some filter floss as well as some red lava rock. Pretty simple setup guys, works really, really well. So let's get into setting this thing up today. First thing we're gonna do is make sure this thing actually holds water because the last thing I want is 60 gallons of water on my floor. And then we're gonna clean this because it's plastic and you know, plastic has all kinds of chemicals in it. So we're gonna go ahead and get this filled up, clean it, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, well now that we have filled this up, got all the plastic cleaned up and verified that this thing in fact does hold water, now we're gonna go ahead and get this set up. Now, let's talk about what the setup's gonna look like and then we'll get to building it. These aquatic plant baskets are actually gonna be bases that sit in the bottom here. The reason I'm using aquatic plant baskets is because they're perforated obviously and they'll allow water to flow through them, not taking away any volume of this tub. We're gonna take our seven gallon tub, go ahead and place these right inside of here. Because we have two outlets coming out of the tank, we have two tubs that'll hold our filtration media. So we're gonna fill these up with lava rock and then cover the top with the filter floss. The filter floss will actually be our mechanical filtration. It'll take out any debris and things of that nature as the water flows over the top of it, down into the lava rock, which will hold our bacteria and colonize that bacteria, allowing the water to flow through that. And then it'll end up in the bottom of this basin where a pump will then return it into a single outlet back into the tank. So that's kind of the basic setup of this. And now all we have to do is just really get this thing built and hooked up. Let's go ahead and start with building it. What we're gonna need to do is take these little smaller containers right here and completely perforate them with as many holes as we can. That way when the water flows through it, it has a way to drain. Let's get the drill and get that done. We now have the holes drilled in the bottom, which will allow for water to come through. Now, the way this is designed though, is if these happen to clog up and water does overflow, the lip of this is actually lower than the lip of this, meaning that there would be no spillage outside of this tub. So as you can see, these buckets are not holding water and there's not gonna be much more flow than this right here into them. So therefore we have enough water flow. Now what I wanna do is since these are perforated now, I can go ahead and wash this lava rock, allowing all the lava dust to flow into the bottom of this bigger basin and allows me to clean this lava rock much more efficiently and quickly. So let's go ahead and get that done, which is our next step. So I'm gonna pour some of this in here. So if you watch my previous video, this is the trash can setup that we had, which it is a very similar setup. Basically you have a trash can that holds all of the lava rock. Then this particular trash can here would hold the mechanical filtration media, which in this case was uh, also filter floss. The water would come in through here, drain through the bottom of this trash can into the lava rock, down into the bottom where it would then be pumped back into the tank. So pretty much the same concept. It's just, we're doing it on a more long, and not such a tall scale. 
Because like I said, this thing, when it fits in there, you can see there's not a whole lot of room. Hence the reason I've kind of been delayed on getting this thing set up. Don't worry guys, we're, we're not stopping this. We're getting this thing set up. We're gonna cycle it. We're gonna get it scaped. We're gonna get it all done, stocked with fish. And those will be our next videos. This is gonna be a three part series. This is only the first part. The second part will be out within just a few days. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you stay tuned and watch. And if you're not subscribed, hey, are you in there? So if you're if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe because I, I need you to subscribe. Thank you. Let's get back to this. God, I got a fingerprint all over it doing that. That was ridiculous. So there's a good possibility that these hoses have water in them, so let's see. Yeah, there's definitely water in there, so uh, I don't want that to come out, so. Hopefully that got enough out so it doesn't leak all over the floor. All right, well our next step in this process is getting this tub underneath here. First thing we have to install in here is going to be our pump. So now I'm gonna take our little plastic baskets and start placing these in here where they need to go. And finally, we are gonna place tubs media, just like that. All we have to do is put our inlets in. All right, well the sump is now running. You can see water coming out of that outlet. You can see water coming out of that outlet. Like I said, it drains through this filter media down into the bottom where it's then returned back up through this line to that outlet over there, to that outlet over there, all is good. So now what I need to do is take some of this filter floss, and we're gonna place this right over top of this volcanic lava rock, and we wanna just make sure that the water runs through that filter's floss. So I'm gonna get this as much as I can with one hand, right in here like this, let the water run through that, the sump is now done and everything is done. I've actually come in as well and vacuumed some of the junk off the bottom because listen, this video is gonna be continued. We already have everything we need to escape the 300 gallon, starting with pool filter sand right here. This is half of it. So we have the driftwood, we have the rocks, we have the plants, we have everything to escape this thing. So the next part to this video series is actually going to be setting up the scape in this tank. And I'm actually starting to record that tonight as I'm finishing this video here. So the next two videos will be coming out very soon. The next one will be us scaping this tank out. The one after that will be us stocking this tank. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content. We have a lot of stuff coming out. We got a lot of projects that are just getting finished up around here and in the fish room. So make sure that you do that. As well as go find us on Instagram and Facebook. All is in the description below. And I'm trying to post more consistently because it seems like you guys like to see that happen. So make sure you subscribe. But with all that, guys, really appreciate it. Thank you so very much for the support. And with that, we will see you next time.